Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and in this video we are going to solve this really interesting algebra problem and hi, I hope you'll enjoy this interesting solution to this problem. So we have that x equal to 1 plus square root of 5 over 2 and we need to find x to the 12th power. So we need to find like 1 plus square root of 5 over 2 to the 12th power, yeah? It looks like really like not easy question because we have like square root, we have 12th power, we all know that like maybe 6th power is hard, yeah, 8th power is hard, maybe 4th force power is good for us, square is really good for us, but what about 12th power? How can we find x to the 12th power? And in this video I'm going to show you a really interesting approach, how can we do this? Just I, I, I hope you will enjoy this solution. First of all, I write this first step right here. So first of all we have that our x equal to 1 plus square root of 5 over 2, yeah? And let's find from this expression, let's find our x. Let's find from this uh, equation, let's find our x. We had it, but right now let's find it in another way. So take a look. Let's multiply both sides by 2. So we have like 2x equal to 1 plus square root of 5. So we have like 2x equal to 1 plus square root of 5, okay? So we just multiply both sides by 2. What we're going to do next? Let's bring 1 from the right to the left from here. So we have like 2x minus 1 equal to square root of 5. Right now, take a look. We have like square root on the right hand side and we have we don't need it. Yes, yeah, so we just raised both sides to the second power. If we raise this, we raise this one to the square and this one to the square. Yeah, we all know that if we raise square root to the second power, we'll have only our 5. And right here, this is our identity formula. We all know this. So a minus b, a minus b square equal to a square minus 2ab and plus plus b square. Okay, this is our identity formula right here and this is our square root to the second power which is absolutely the same number. Yeah, so we have like 2x minus 1 squared equal to equal to 5. Yeah, right now let's raise this to the second power. So we have 4x square minus 4x and plus 1 equal to equal to 5. Yeah, okay, so this is our quadratic equation. Let's solve this equation real quick. But before solving this, I want to mention one really interesting moment because we bring one, if we bring one to the from the left to the right, we will have that our 4x square minus 4x equal to, or not equal, minus 4, let's bring 5 to, to the from the right to the left, we have this really interesting equation. And if we divide this equation by by 4, we have that our x square minus x and minus 1 equal to 0. And really important trick right here. We do need this equation to be solved right here, because if we bring x minus x minus 1 from the left to the right, take a look, if we bring it from the left to the right, I write it right here, we will have that our x square equal to x plus 1. And really, this is maybe the main trick right here. This is very important expression. Because in this expression, we can re easily reduce our power, because we know that our x square second power equal to the first power. So we can express our second power by the first power. Okay, this is first really important step, and I hope you understand it. Let's go to the second step right here. Okay, we all know that our x to the 12th power can be written as x to the x square to the sixth power. Yeah, we all know that, that it can be written like that. And let's walk according to this expression. We need to know x to the 12th power. We need to find it. But we also know that x square equal to x to the 12th power equal to x square to the sixth power. And we know that x square equal to x plus one. Yeah, I hope you understand this moment right here. Okay, so let's do this. We have that right here, our x square to the sixth power, this expression equal to x plus 1, x plus 1 to the 6th power, okay? So I hope you understand this step. We change this x square by this, by this expression that we find in the beginning. Okay, x, x plus 1 to the 6th power. Let's reduce our power once more in the same way as we, as we did right here. How can we write it? We can write it as x plus 1, x plus 1 to the 2nd power. And we just need to cube it because we have like cube, yeah? We have six power right here. Okay, right now we can easily raise this to the second power. X plus one squared, we have like equal to, we have like X squared plus two X and plus one. And we raise this to the third power. We had it in the beginning, so to the third power. Okay, and right now, really important moment, we don't need to raise this as in this expression to the third power because we know that X squared right here equal to x plus 1, okay? 
really important moment because if then we reduce our power it will be easier for us equal to in parentheses instead of this x square i write x plus one so x plus one and plus two x plus one plus two x and plus one and raises to the third power okay to the third power okay let's let's add it we have like x and two x we have three x plus three x plus two to the third power equal to three x three x plus two to the third power okay okay this is our second step really important step right here and let's find this express let's try to simplify this expression because we can write it as 3x plus 2 squared and we raise it, we multiply it by 3x plus 2 to the first power okay i just wanted to express this power so this 3 i want to express is a second power and the first power so plus 1 yeah okay and right now let's re let's multiply it Let's raise this to the second power right here because this is our identity formula. Right here, this is our identity formula. A plus B squared. Yeah, we all know this formula. A squared plus 2AB and plus B squared. And let's apply this formula right here. 3x plus 2 squared. What we'll have? I write it right here and this is our continue. I continue to solve it right here. Okay, so we have like 9x squared plus 12x and plus 4. This is our, our this parentheses and times 3x plus 2. 3x plus 2. So we're getting closer and closer to our answer. And right now, really important moment, as I told before, we don't need this x square, but in our minds we know that x square equal to x plus 1. Let's, let's change this by x plus 1 right here. If we change it, if we plug in, we have like that, we have 9 times x plus 1 plus 12x and plus 4 plus 12x and plus 4 in parentheses and we multiply it by this one by 3x plus 2 3x plus 2 okay let's simplify this expression in our parentheses <coughs> so we have like oh i write it in the beginning let's write it as x to the 12th power it will be our answer right here because this is the same expression as right here x to the 12th power so x to the 12th power equal to in parentheses 9x plus 9 so 9x plus 9 plus 12x plus 12x plus 4 plus 4 and times 3x plus 2 so we're getting closer and closer to our answer plus 2 okay let's add it we have like 9x plus 12x we have like 21x so 21x plus 13 right here 9 plus 4 and times 3x plus 2 3x plus 2 so we can easily multiply these both parentheses right here let's do this we have like 63x square 63x square plus 42x and plus 39x and plus 26 okay plus 26 equal to okay take a look closely we have 63x square but in our minds as i told before x square equal to x plus 1 so x x plus 1 so we need to multiply this 63 by x plus 1 so we have like 63 times x plus 1 x plus 1 right here then plus 42 plus 39 it will be 81x plus 81x and in the last we have 26 so plus 26 okay let's multiply it 63x plus 63 so we have like 63x plus 63 this is our parentheses plus 81x and plus 26 so as you can see very very simple expression and if we add all of this we will have 144x and plus 89 okay this is our expression this is our x to the 12th power according to our all simplifying step right here but our last step how can we solve it we know that our x equal to 1 plus square root of 5 over 2 we all know that we had it in the beginning that our x equal to 1 plus square root of 5 over 2 so let's plug in inside of this inside of this expression so we have 144 and instead of x we plug in this expression that we have in the beginning so 1 plus square root of 5 over 2 and plus 89 so let's multiply it right here we can cancel we have, we have 72 we have so we have 72 and in parentheses 1 plus square root of 5 and plus 89 yeah so we just multiply it by these parentheses our last step let's multiply it we have like 72 plus 72 square root of 5 and plus 89 or if we add this one and this one we have like 161 plus 72 
square root of 5. And this is our answer to this problem. So our answer, I write right here, our answer x to the 12th power equal to 161 plus 72 square root of 5. This is my solution, maybe um, maybe you can find it difficult, but this is, I want to show you this really interesting approach according to very simple steps, right? Like, yes, if, if, if you look at it once more, very simple steps, but you need to know about these steps, yeah? It's not works like that. You need to know about this very, very important step, you need to reduce this power, and then you go step by step to reduce the power to get a very simple very simple expression. There are a lot of different methods, but I want to show you this, this one, and I hope you enjoy it. I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematic adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.